developing story in the NFL. Sources close to Tom Brady believe he's preparing to retire after 22 seasons in the NFL. That's according to CBS Sports NFL insider Jason Lock and Fora. Also reporting that several sources in Brady's inner circle anticipate him to reveal his plans in the coming days. All right, back here with Jason Lock and Fora. Jason, this is obviously monster news. What more can you tell us about Tom Brady perhaps potentially retiring here in the next couple days? Well, you know, again, the people close to Tom Brady who have been watching him for weeks now and, and gathering sort of what they could pick up and the clues he's leaving and what he's saying and what he's leaving unsaid, um, they do believe he's played his final football game. There are a multitude of people close to him who are under that impression. He has not explicitly said anything one way or the other, but he is going to clear this up sooner rather than later. I'm told the latest it would come is shortly after the Super Bowl, but even more likely that we find out this year, sorry, this week from the GOAT himself where things stand. And I anticipate strongly that that is going to be a retirement announcement, whether he does that through social media and then obviously a press conference, the many ways, shapes, and forms that could take. But certainly the Tampa Bay Bucks are preparing for two outcomes right now. And one of those very much is we've got to find a new quarterback. We've got to figure out if we're going with somebody, you know, who's older, who we think we can win with now, or whether or not this whole thing is going to evolve and change and maybe look a little more like a rebuild because if Tom Brady's gone, and again, that is my expectation, there are going to be others who go as well, whether they retire, whether they move on in free agency, et cetera. There is only one GOAT. He played at an MVP level, but he has family commitments. He has other things he wants to do with his life, and it is important to him that he go out healthy, that that you know he, he go out on top, and that he go out feeling fulfilled. And the sense in that locker room was, yes, we fell short of a Super Bowl this year, but we had a meaningful season. We fought to the very end, and we did so knowing that our leader – was more likely than not making his final run here in the postseason. I know that you're reporting this. I know that you're getting information from sources that Tom Brady is going to retire. But do you find it tough to believe that Tom Brady would retire after his last completion was a nine-yard pass to Cameron Brait and they lost to the Rams in the playoffs? Do you see that actually being a realistic scenario for the GOAT, a seven-time Super Bowl champ? Yeah, it's really realistic. He hasn't committed to playing next year, and he's made it pretty clear that he's at a different point in his life now than he ever was before. Um, uh, his last pass for the New England Patriots was a pick six, was it not? In a playoff game to end it. I mean, you can't you, look. You can't control everything. The odds of going out a Super Bowl winner again after just winning it last year and having a team where they did everything they could to bring all 22 starters back, but that was that's not happening in 2022. It's impossible for a multitude of reasons, and um, I don't think anybody's going to be worried about who his last pass went to or how many yards it was. He led a 24-point comeback in a game they really had no business getting back into. He gave his team every chance to win. He played like an MVP this year. He's not scheduled for any surgeries. He's not scheduled for any major procedures. He didn't go out on a gurney. He didn't get wheeled out of a, of a stadium. He went out as close to the top as you can, playing in his own stadium where he just won a Super Bowl, you know, a year before and leading a memorable comeback. So, um, again, this is somebody who's been doing this, who's been putting his body through this for a long time. Who he threw the ball to last or how that game ended or what have you, I don't think is really central to the plot. The plot was he was looking at this, according to people close to him, as very likely – the last dance without proclaiming it the last dance because he doesn't need all that fanfare. He doesn't want everybody talking about it, but he has other commitments that he feels like he needs to start tending to in a more meaningful way year round than he's able to as an NFL player, a fully committed NFL player and someone whose off season amounts to maybe 10 days before he throws him back in, himself back into a routine that is all about chasing another ring. Joked about playing until he was 50. Then over the summer, he said, maybe I'll make it to 45. And if, uh, if this is in fact true, Tom Brady will retire before he turns 45, turns 45 in August. And of course, a first ballot Hall of Famer, seven Super Bowl titles and an incredible career, the greatest in NFL history. Jason Lockenfora with the story here on CBS Sports HQ, giving us the latest. Jason, thank you. 
And it's just ridiculous when you look at the numbers for Tom Brady. Like, there are so many eye-popping stats. Perhaps one of the most ridiculous stats, seven Super Bowl wins more than any team in NFL history. Let me repeat that. Seven Super Bowl wins more than any team in NFL history. So that stands alone. He's literally and figuratively the best player in NFL history, the best winner in NFL history. And if it's true, Tom Brady hanging it up, calling it a career after 22 seasons in the NFL. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.